Norwegian entrepreneurs, millionaires and billionaires are fleeing the country like crazy. What the heck is going on? Let's talk about it now. Hi, I'm Oliver and welcome back to the channel Ask Me Startup, where we talk about startups, small businesses and the world that surrounds them. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and pushing the notification bell because it really, really helps this channel to grow. If you're into business, if you plan to start a business, if you have a small startup, please feel free to download my free startup checklist, link in the description below. So today I want to talk to you about a topic that at first glance might be a mismatch for this channel, but it is really, really relevant and please listen out. So I came across a news article stating that Norwegians are fleeing their country and they're moving to Switzerland. And I was like, wow, so why is that relevant? And then it turns out that 14 billionaires only this year alone, 2022, have migrated from Norway to Switzerland. That's quite a substantial amount of people, isn't it? So I was wondering and I was starting to dig in and it turns out some things have been screwed up in Norway, which is really relevant for anyone starting a business there, anyone having a business there, and it might put your business at risk. So what am I talking about? Well, as you can imagine, if rich people and people that have been successful in their business life are migrating somewhere else, they feel threatened. And what is the biggest threat to of them all? Taxes. Now, we are aware that Norway, being a Scandinavian country, most likely isn't a tax low country, right? I mean, the Scandinavian countries are very, very famous for their, let's say, elevated tax regimes but usually you get a lot of benefits in return. Now it turns out that Norway has got a new government, which is let's say on the left side of the political spectrum, and they have increased taxes. So far so good, nothing crazy, but it turns out they've increased it in such a way that it becomes unsustainable to run your business, specifically if you have a large small margin business. So what happened? Well, it turns out the government has increased the wealth tax to 1.2%, which per se is maybe not the most critical one, but also increased the dividend tax to almost 40%, more precisely 37.8%, which is an increase of 6% over the last year. And you go like, oh, okay, well, what does that actually mean? In order to fulfill your tax duties, you will have to either sell parts of your company, take out a loan or take all the dividends you have and pay the taxes. Now, if your margin only, let's say, is two to 3% and you have to pay 40% of wealth increased taxes, then you go, oh my God, that's going to be difficult. So this combination of an increase in wealth tax plus dividend tax kind of leads people to do math. And most entrepreneurs do mathematics quite well because otherwise their business will run bankrupt one day. And it turns out it's unsustainable. For most people to pay the taxes that the government currently demands them to will lead to their companies to be bankrupt. Hence what's happening. Well, they're moving to Switzerland, of course, because this is a country that deals very well with wealthy people and has a very, let's say, intelligent tax system. Now, are they running away from the wealth tax? No, because Switzerland has a wealth tax itself. So you're not kind of not paying the tax, you're just paying it in a much more attractive way, most likely. So as this is very critical for any entrepreneur, I was thinking, okay, wait a minute, if the big companies are now taxed and Norway is kind of screwing up the tax system, how about startups? Are we in danger that these companies or these entrepreneurs are now screwed over as well? So now let's have a look on how startups are actually treated in Norway. There has been a new law from the 1st of January 2022 and they have improved the whole situation a lot. And I think it's relevant you understand this. So um, startups today actually can have st uh, stock options and they're not taxable unless you kind of cash out on those stock options, which is really important. Um, and the gains on those stock options, like if you're producing an app and suddenly your company is valued at 100 million, you cannot, you know, pay the taxes on on the capital gains this is not taxed as income tax so that is really good but then i was looking to the details like what are 
their specifications on startups. What are the other requirements they have to fulfill in order to be eligible to be registered as a startup? And then I was like, okay, wait a minute. So you cannot have a balance sheet or an operating income of more than 80 million Norwegian crowns, which is roughly $8 million. Now, of course, that is quite a nice sum, right? But what does that actually mean? So you're putting in, let's say, 10 years of your life into this company. You grow it, it flourishes, and it becomes really successful. And suddenly, you are not no longer able to be listed as a startup, and you have to pay those ridiculous taxes. So you put in all the efforts, and suddenly the company tells you, okay, now you have to pay an unsustainable tax, which will crush your business more or less. Are you going to do this? I have big doubts. And it's not only about uh, the revenue, right? So it's about the man hours and men, men years that are in there um, and the number of years, etc. Come on. Reality is, if you are a entrepreneur and if you plan to start a business, you have to think twice. Will the situation or is it possible that the situation of your business and for your business will change drastically in a way that you would have never started. And Norway is now a good example of what has happened. This country used to be have a right-wing or rightish type of political uh, establishment a couple of years ago. Now everything is on the left and suddenly the whole business environment swaps from left to right. Now I'm not going to, to judge whether that's good or right. All I'm saying right now is for you as an entrepreneur, just logically, it is very challenging. And if the conditions change drastically, things are not good for businesses at all. And that is the reason those people actually migrate to Switzerland, because as complicated as Switzerland might be, it still has a wealth tax. It is very slow and very complicated, but the political system actually prevents any harsh movements in one way or the other. So very often it's totally frustrating, but for businesses, this is great because you can rely for a longer period of time that the environment you built your business on will exist for longer. Of course, not everything is perfect in Swiss and that's not, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, over um, exaggerate the fact, but the fact of the matter is Norway has switched so fast from left to right that businesses are unable to adapt and the people rather flee the country than paying the taxes there. And that is bad for the country on the long run anyway. So as a summary, of course, taxes are a very big problem from all companies but it depends on how things are set up. If they are unsustainable, like in Norway now, of course you will see entrepreneurs running away and it will not help when the government is putting in more harsh conditions for those entrepreneurs when they are leaving, because then it makes them flee even further, even faster than ever before. And I think Norway should be a warning for all other countries. You should put more thought into your process of thinking in how to tax companies. Because I understand that it is f that they should pay the fair share. And believe me, if you've lived in Scandinavia somewhere, you always pay your fair share. And it's not about running away from taxes. It's running away from your company, your businesses getting destroyed by an unlogical tax. All right, everybody, I hope that video for you was helpful. If you liked it, please smash the like button and push the notification bell. If you have any experience in Norway, please drop a comment down below and have a discussion with us and tell us your experiences firsthand. And if you made it so far in this video, please, please really, really subscribe because it really helps this channel to grow. All right. Thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you next time.